To this now, the SA Weather Service is warning of more heavy rains and flooding in many parts of the country. Gauteng's Department of Human Settlements says around 500 people have been displaced so far. And our reporter Heidi Jockers is in Centurion to join us now for the latest with regards to where he is now. Heidi, I'm keen to know about you know, the assessment that you've perhaps made on the damage to property, to the roads, to the bridges since our last conversation. Uh, well, Tumelo, I think it's quite severe given the fact that we have seen uh, quite severe damage to bridges, uh, to uh, certain infrastructure close to uh, the various bridges. I'm just going to move out of shot so I can ask my cameraman Teddy to just show you. This is one particular bridge in uh, Centurion, um, and one can see that the water has subsided quite substantially. However, it is still very risky to drive on this road. And the reason for that is because uh, the palisade on the right-hand side is completely broken off. It's completely washed away. Uh, and that's obviously posing a big risk because if the flow of the water is strong enough, it can eventually push a car over. And that's possibly why, um, you know, uh, TMPD have blocked this road off uh, because even though it's stopped raining for now, uh, you know, it starts drizzling again. If Every now and then, and we are only expecting the weather uh, to clear up by Thursday. Um, people might take the chance and eventually go uh, past, try and pass this, this bridge, uh, which can be really risky. But you can see the kind of damage that's been done. Even previously, when I was talking to you, uh, you can just see a lot of palisade, a lot of fencing uh, has been broken and damaged. There's a lot of litter that we are also seeing. Um, so things don't look very good. And we do understand that there is a uh, lot of uh, properties that have been damaged on the golf course, uh, particularly um, obviously because of the amount of water that's gone through there. And we do understand that uh, other property have also been damaged. Um, so it doesn't look too good, obviously speaking to the fact of the force of, um, of that water and these floods. Also, the Centurion Hotel has been heavily affected and damaged, particularly the parking lot and the, um, the ground floor of that hotel. Of course, those 70 guests have to be evacuated. And also, more importantly, Tumelo, I think um, all those, uh, those shacks uh, being demolished in the informal settlements just opposite Supersport Park and outside um, uh, in, in Bamilodi, rather. So uh, a lot has been damaged, a lot. The rain has caused a lot of damage, um, and I think people are just trying to recollect uh, as soon as the rain stops. Yeah, and, and speaking of just alternatives, in, in a matter of what people have, you know, or rather can do right now, you spoke about you know, residents in the Gulf Course, uh, you know, residents from Mamilodi, uh, shacks as well, having been to demolish the Centurion Hotel, Heidi, as well, mm -hmm. having to pick up the bill in making sure that they now uh, clear out the water and make it safe again. I mean, what are they saying in terms of what their plan is, their next step is amidst all these floods? So we tried to get some kind of word from uh, St. Chur and Hotel Management, uh, and we asked them, you know, what damage are we looking at? What is the next step for all the guests that have booked uh, in, in this week, uh, just this week alone? And uh, they have indicated to us that the damage is so much that they just need some time uh, to gather uh, all the information together and perhaps come up with uh, some kind of statement that they can then relay to the media uh, and to the masses. But we do understand that they have been in communication with all uh, with all their guests, of course. Uh, another big issue for them is the fact that I think the telephone lines are down uh, because the ground floor was completely submerged with water. So they are trying to obviously get to all their guests via email and so forth, and uh, they are just trying to get uh, to grips with what's actually happened. I think uh, everyone is waiting for the rain to subside and for the rain to completely stop. When I checked the weather uh, a few minutes before this live crossing, uh, it appears as though Thursday will be clear skies only, uh, and we are, we we in Tuesday today. So uh, it's tomorrow, it's the rest of today and tomorrow that we are expecting 100% rainfall, uh, and that obviously just exacerbates the situation situation and makes matters worse. So I think people need to wait until uh, the situation gets better and then they can obviously uh, account and amount what exactly they're looking at and the damage that they're looking at. But people are obviously still trying to get to grips with what's happened. And importantly, motorists need to be very careful in Centurion for all the roads that have been blocked and to uh, not speed because we've seen a lot of that where people are just rushing and they're not realizing that the road is actually blocked off. So that's another thing that uh, that people need to be on high alert of. And I think that's a 
a very important message today for motorists to be careful because there are potholes, there's water everywhere, and it is, of course, wet roads right now that they're driving on. So let's just practice precaution there. Heidi Jockers, thank you for that update.